Alrighty, guys and gals, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. Thank you for joining me. This is our World of Warcraft Shadowlands Immersion Let's Play. That's what I'm calling it. Slightly different from the rest of the Let's Plays we're doing on the channel. Anyway, this is Susie. This is our female... Troll Druid. And I've just noticed it looks like the Love is in the Air. Is that what this season is called? I think it's Love is in the Air. Doing a little dance. Anyway, last episode, I think we finished up the quests for this little starting area. And I think we're going to be moving over to Senjen Village, I believe. Anyway, I hope everybody's doing all right. I surely do. Let's jump back into it here. Let's see what we got going on. I've uh, I've I've tried to fade these bars out a little bit, slightly more immersive. But yeah, this is the only quest we have left. We need to report to Master Gadrin. In Senjin Village. Let's do it. Actually, we've been over here. We've been here. We have been on all of the islands. Did we, I can't remember, did we actually, I can't remember if we figured out where this boat goes. This is new. Let's go see. I, th oh my goodness. He was coming for me. I think this boat goes to... Uh, I can't actually remember what the place is called. And why am I not in cat form? It's much faster. Let's find out where this goes. I can't remember the name of the islands. Sandalar. Interesting. Yeah, this is new. So the way that World of Warcraft works now, I think we could take this boat and actually go to Zandalar, and we would be able to level up here because of the way that everything scales. It looks like these only scale... These scale differently. Interesting. Anyway, like I mentioned, these Let's Plays are going to be a little bit different than what we're doing on Mountain and Finn and Lucius, uh, and especially Guns. It's going to be a little bit more low-key, a little bit more chill, a little bit more immersive. I'm going to do my best to make it immersive. Let's make sure we're heading in this the right way. Okay, we need to head up this way. I'm also, I'm purposely recording these episodes later at night. My energy level is, uh, it's pretty mellow. And this is also the first time uh, we've played a female character on the channel. And the first time pretty much I've ever played a female character in the game. It 
doesn't really matter, but um, it's interesting for me. I love our cat form here. It is interesting looking. Oh, look at that over there. I think those are the Alliance ships. Are those Alliance ships? I believe they are. Those look like the ships that take you to Northern, maybe? One of my favorite areas in the game, Northern. So we're also, the other reason for this Let's Play, besides exploration and uh, trying to learn some lore and main storyline quests, uh, is to see the difference between Classic and what happened after the Cataclysm. Deathwing came and changed the landscape, especially in places like the Barrens, uh, Lac Badan, several other places. So this is new. I mean, the trolls have obviously, they've, they've upgraded. They've built up their village. I like to see this, that it's not the same, you know? Time has passed, and they've upgraded their little city here. That might be an interesting screenshot. All right, let's check in. Here we go. Yeah, I believe it's Love is in the Air is the festival. Trying to see if this village looks different than it does in Classic. It appears this area up here is the same. I believe it's the same. Oh, that's right. There is a flight point here. Let's go ahead and grab this. All right. Well, let's check in with Master Gadrin. Hello, hey, how are you? Welcome, young troll. You come highly recommended. It's nice to finally meet you in person. Thank you. I be getting too old for this. He's got another question. Seek me help? This ain't good, not one bit. Thralls off to sea, a Vulgens taking care of business in Echo Isles, and old Master Gadrin is left behind to take care of Senjin. And then what happens? Those humans come out of Northwatch Hold and set up camp in our backyard. Lucky for us, they just got here and they're still setting up their base. You can help old Ganjin by destroying those big supply crates they carry and by killing the laborers carrying them. You'll find them to the southwest. He wants us to destroy three supply crates. Not actually get the supplies, just destroy the crates and kill some lugs. Good luck. And keep a good mojo close at hand. I'll keep a. I'll try to keep a mojo close at hand, my friend. So I don't really have any. I'd like to stick to main storyline quests. The problem is, it might be hard for me to tell what is a main storyline quest because I basically know nothing about the lore of the game. But if we pick up a quest that just seems interesting and takes us somewhere new, we're probably going to do it. Anyway, who do we have here? You seek me help? This is Bombay. He did a little dance for us there. He's laughing at us. <laughs> Cleaning up the coastline. Hey, uh, Bombay is working on some new mojo. You want to try a piece of it? Well, before you do, Bombay's going to need you to pick us some jujus. You're up in my personal space here, my friend. Uh, he needs five handfuls of crawler mucus. Mmm, sounds delicious. All right. What else do we got going on here? So I wouldn't actually mind running up to Ogremar, and even though the love is in the air, it's not, you know, part of the lore of War Warcraft. Maybe fun to check that out. I don't see any other quests here at the moment, so... Let's do Breaking the Chain. This this came from uh, Gadrin, who's running the village. Let's go see what's going on. A little bunny rabbit. I'm also interested to see if 
what quests are different and which quests have been kept. Um, you know, they're still in classic and they're still in current retail. So, so far, both of these quests are, even though these are a little bit different, in classic, you come over and I think you destroy the plans. Also, there are centaur here and, and not humans. It's an interesting way to carry that. Okay, we just one-shotted him. <laughs> oh, we got some three-on-one. We are fairly overpowered, it seems like here. That is a level. We are now level seven. And that is the crate destroyed. These guys are not very tough. Well, the laborers. They weren't hired to... Uh, they weren't hi hired to fight. They're hired to carry gigantic... <laughs> gigantic crates. That quest is complete. I don't know if we'll have to go back in there. I guess we will find out. We do need these. So I do know one of the differences between retail and classic. Uh, uh, is you pretty much everything is pretty much one for one. So in classic, this quest, uh, you can kill 20 of these to get your five mucuses uh, here we're just going to kill five and we're going to have all of the mucuses that we need yeah i'm pretty sure you know current retail is kind of just they want you to get to end game um which honestly is not i prefer i actually enjoy the leveling process i always have i've been more about the leveling process than end game and getting the best of everything that you can get it's just a personal preference anyway we're going to mix it up between game music and just some really ambient chill background music oh i actually don't think i got one from him well i stand corrected it's not one for one but the drop rates <laughs> are really good i thought we were getting the meats that's actually mucus so the the quest before was to get the meat so they've changed it slightly just slightly And this hut in the game, I think, is further over over here in Classic. I don't know why I couldn't loot that. This should be a fishing trainer. There he is. Yeah, that's the same guy. Lautiki. What have we got here? Fishing supplies. He's new. I'm pretty sure he's new. We don't, basically, we don't need any of this. Unless they're upgrades. I'm basically just going to sell everything. This can move up here. What does he sell? Oversized bobber? I can't afford any of this. Some recipes. Spirits be with your mind. don't think I'll pick up professions. I don't know how useful they are. And this Let's Play is not... We don't really have... I 
I've been training dark spear trolls for generations. That's good to know. Yeah, I'm probably not going to mess with professions. Or this is an exploration uh, and lore type of let's play. So, uh, breaking the chain. Well, we've stymied their efforts for now, but they're still here. We have to press on, Susie. Purge the valley. North Watch is a highly defended stronghold southwest of here across the harbor. It's a strategically located stronghold that Horde still struggles to overtake. We don't need the humans setting up another North Watch here in Doritar. Sweep through the valley to the west and slay these humans, Susie. Let them know the power and the fury of Senjin. Uh, he wants us to defeat 12 North Watch troops. And we will get an upgraded staff. Spirit be with you. And we will take that. I don't believe this quest... This actually might be a new quest. But it definitely wasn't here before, I'm pretty sure. If anybody knows, maybe leave me a comment if it was indeed... If it didn't indeed originate from here. It's also my understanding that you can get... Like, some of the quests are the same. They've just been moved around. So you pick them up in different areas. So that might be a quest you used to get in Ratchet, perhaps. Uh, or maybe even the crossroads. You be feeling well? I'm, pr I'm feeling pretty well. Thanks for asking. Uh, you brought the jujus. I show you my mojo. Let's see it. He's got good moves. I'll tell you one thing I like about the trolls dance. I love when they do the flip, the side flip. Yes, that's the stuff. Now we can get other jujus. All right. Never trust a big barb and a smile. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to get some poison from the scorpions that are running around. All right. Uh, he says he's got a big totem. Totem is going to suck up all the poison. All right. I'm not going to read the um, uh, the slightly racist <laughs> Jamaican accents. I don't do a good Jamaican accent anyway, but uh Yeah. Okay, we need six samples of Scorpid Venom. So this quest, I don't believe... You do have a quest to get the Venom, but I don't believe you use this. Actually, I actually don't remember. Maybe you do. I actually don't remember if the totems were a thing in Classic. Way ahead of you with my totem. Did we get one? We did. I wonder what kind of range these have. They have a very short cooldown. Actually, I think I think this was. I think this is the same quest. It may be worded a little bit differently. We're going to throw that down. See if we can get both of these guys. Hey. So these guards will help you. The problem, though... If these guards help you too early, uh, I don't think you get credit for the kill. Now, it may be different in, Shadow in Shadowlands, uh, in current retail. Not sure. All right, let's see if we can round these up. Let's do it this way. Drop our totem. We are actually getting destroyed right here. <laughs> We gotta be a little bit careful. Yeah, we're uh, we're taking a beating. I also need to move this bar. All right. Well, I can't be. Uh, I gotta be a little bit careful. I have been super critical of retail about how easy it is. Um. But. Uh, there's a good example. You just you can't roll through everything. And we also did a uh, permadeath series, a hardcore challenge in retail, and I died. <laughs> so what the hell do I know? Looks like we're outside of the zone here. Just do two at a time. 
feel a little bit better with two at a time. That was strange. <laughs> she got a little hit in, like just a little extra after it was dead. <laughs> there are things I do prefer about retail. Um, it's mainly quality of life stuff. Like when you loot, you can, if you have multiple corpses, you can just loot one and you gather all of the items. I do like that. I also really enjoy the spell animation upgrades that they've done for the character classes. Um, I think it adds a lot more. All right, we should finish up here. Got a little stunned there. Gonna try to keybind this stuff. Any, uh, Viewers have been watching the channel for a while. You know, keybinds really aren't my thing. I am a button clicker. And I don't like that about myself because it takes, it does break immersion when I'm clicking down here. But right now, we don't really have that many abilities. I feel like I could probably keybind some of these and just completely get rid of some of these bars. Let's see if I can do that. Do these count as troops? These are infantrymen. Let's see if these actually count. I would, yeah, he counts as a troop. That makes sense. He doesn't call people to help him. The laborers are not interested in fighting. Like, no, we've we've been hired to carry boxes, and that's what we're gonna do. I can use my berserking in cat form. It does not. It does not pull me out of cat form. I like that. But I do like... Oh, hello there. Did he pop evasion there? No, oh, they're like rogues. He's got evasion up. That's interesting. That is interesting. Uh, let's get a little heal going on. So I don't have heirloom armor on. I could throw all of that stuff on if I wanted to. Um, you know, I've got... A lot of it's not all ranked up because I've not really played retail very much. But uh, we could throw a lot of this on and it might help us out. But I don't think I'm going to worry about it. I think we'll just take the gear that we get. It feels better to me. Just throwing heirloom armor and wrecking everything right you know, right away. I've got a ranger here. What was he doing? Oh, he set a trap. He actually placed an explosive trap. I like that. I love it when Blizzard gives um a class or a race their specific abilities that you would have. I do like that. That feels good. Like the rogue popped evasion, that hunter placed a trap. I did not know that was a thing. Yeah, we're taking a bit of damage here. We are taking a bit of damage. One thing that does not seem to be an issue though is mana. This is another rain. This is another hunter. Oh, he got his trap off. Couldn't get out in time. He's going to be ranged as well. We're going to pop into cat form. Ha! You didn't get your trap off? I outsmarted him there. Didn't let him get it. So these, this is actually a little bit, oh, I ran through it. <laughs> the trap looked like it despawned, but obviously I just ran through it. So, and classic, the, this is a little, this area is a little bit different looking, and they've obviously, the character models have been upgraded and all that. 
Oh boy, this guy actually does some damage. Just put a couple of heals up here. We'll get him to lay a trap down. But I'll not run into it. And we just need one more, and we can probably get the last one back out here. I have to remember this is a hot. It's not just, I mean, it heals us, but it's also a, it puts a healing over time effect on us. So I could probably just throw it up once and we would probably be okay. So we should have a guard respawned out here. Let's see. Hello? No, oh, they're not spawned back up yet. Let's check down here at the camp. Surely we've got a soldier that's been posted here. Interesting. There's not a soldier posted here. So this is North Watch Hold over here. And this has obviously been changed up a little bit. This whole island also has been built up uh, by the Dark Spear Trolls. It's these were just individual item uh, islands, and they were not established like that. All right, well, let's get our last foot soldier, and let me use dash ability. I have to remember we have this. So if we are in our troll form and we use this, it shifts us into cat form. I, that, that's kind of nice. I like that. Not a super fast respawn rate, but looks like this guy. Nope. That's a weapon rack. I should have just continued into camp. <laughs> Got what I needed. Here we go. This is another ranger. He's ranged. Rangers are ranged, so we'll do this. We'll bait him. I've got another ranged on me. I ran through the trap. <laughs> Let's see if he lays another trap. Am I going to get double, double trapped? Yeah. So it's interesting if, you, if they set the trap, if you avoid it and kill them, it looks like the trap despawns, but it's actually still there. Put a little hot up. Also, these combo points. Wait, do... Oh, my goodness. I didn't even realize. Did we just get this? I feel like we just got this. I was going to say, I'm seeing my combo points here, but I don't have a uh, an ability, but we do. So, we'll be using this. Ferocious Bite. It uh, causes physical damage per combo point and consumes up to 25 additional energy to increase damage by 100%. So we're definitely going to wait till we get all five points. Uh, and we'll throw that on. The guard is going to take care of the scorpion. Both of these. Look how fast they come. They are all over it. Looks like there's a new quest. I guess we hit level 7 and we can now see this quest. All right. Someone call for the doctor? <laughs> this is it. The Scorpid Juju Bombay has been waiting for you. Now we're going to fix you right up, Druid. Okay. Was he going to make it? Let's see what he's going to do here. I had a Sundered Armor. I think that was a Sundered Armor. Uh, Did I miss something here? Oh. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, hello. What is this? This is the volunteer work. Uh, since you helped me, I will help you for free. What do you need fixing? Oh, interesting. We can get a little... Since we helped him, he'll now give us a buff. This is a little bit like... Um, the, uh, the Dark Mood Fair, except you don't have to do that guy favors. You just answer questions. Well... Uh, we would want, I would assume, agility. Bad hangnail. 
All grown up, five minutes remaining. We have increased our size. Look at that. What else can this guy do? So low spirits. Uh, we are in ghost form. Feeling underpowered. <laughs> All right, we have been hexed. We are in sheep form. What else do you have? That's actually not very helpful. Jungle fever. Uh, we are now a snake. Also not very helpful. Unibrow. <laughs> okay. I can't actually get rid of that one. Whiplash. Maybe that's the same one. I kind of like being big. What? That was the bad hangnail. Oh, they're just random. Okay, they are random. But this one we cannot drop, this buff. We don't have very much time. All right, let's check back in with uh, Gadron. Someone call for the doctor? A battle well fought, Druid, but I still have my doubts about our effectiveness. These humans don't seem to be going anywhere. You, however, have done more than could reasonably be asked of any loyal member of the Horde. Thank you. It's interesting that he doesn't have the, I'm going to say, troll accent uh, like the other guy to do. Anyway, this is an upgraded staff. And we have reached level 8. Let's put the staff on. Is that a new ability? I don't see a new ability. Oh, bear form. Yes, that is a... They've put it right up here. No, they have not. It's here on our stance bar. And we have Mangle. Which I'm assuming can only be used in bear form. Let's put... Oh, I'm going to switch this up here. Okay, I see. Alrighty. Let's admire our new form here. It's interesting we have red hair in cat form. We have this very deep, almost like a violet blue or something. Got some bear cuffs on. I can dig it. A little jump. Now the cat does a dance. Does the bear. You better believe he does. You better believe he does a bear dance. <laughs> Pretty basic. I wouldn't imagine a bear would have a lot of moves. The cat doesn't have a lot of moves either. He basically sits, he wags his tail, and he uh, he dips his paw. <laughs> Will this, <coughs> excuse me, this form, look at that. Armor increased by 220%, stamina increased by 25%, and we are immune to polymorph. So we will be using this for multiple enemies. The benefit of this, obviously, uh, our damage is increased. Uh, also, our movement speed is increased. How are we doing on time? Yeah, oh, plenty of time. All right, well, let's see, check out another quest here. Hello, this is Lar Prowl Tusk. These humans in the West, they don't just want to camp out in Duratar. They got bigger plans, and those plans involve taking our homes and leaving our skulls on pikes. Yikes. Well, I'm not having it. Nope. Not Lar. I've got my family here in Senjin, and I'll be damned if I let one of those brutes put my tai tais tai tai Sure, I guess that's his wife's head on a stick. They've got their plans written down in there. Bring skull, uh, bring scrolls. Real important looking. We're gonna burn the scrolls before they burn us. Okay. So this is uh, this is a quest from Classic, but it is this is completely different wording. They've just reworked it a little bit here. It would have been nice to pick that up at the same time. But I guess we can't, couldn't see that till we were level 8. Well, anyway. Let's go do this. I know exactly where they are. I think I do. Might try out our new bear form in here.
try multiple mobs in here. Yeah, he just popped evasion on me. Chance to dodge increased by 25%. I like it. Let's try a couple of mobs and see how much less damage we take. It should be significant. It's got a... It's got a six second cooldown. So one set of plans. Let's throw up a little heal here. I'm looking out for his fire trap? I don't think so. I'm not falling for the old fire trap under the bare ass. I don't think so. Two guys here. We've got some rage built up. He's setting his trap. I've avoided it. Like a pro. Well, he set another trap. He's popped evasion, so we'll go back to him. Yeah, we don't quite have the DPS output, but uh, we are, in fact, tanky like a tank. That's how we're supposed to be. I ran through the trap. <laughs> okay. I think I prefer cat form. So watch what happens to his trap. Oh, he's ranged. Now it's disappeared. Well, now it's there. Oh, I see. I see. It just has a very short uh, range that you can see it at. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, we didn't get out of the way, unfortunately. We need a little heal because we are currently on fire. He is ranged. We're able to pull him over a little. Uh, setting your fire trap there isn't going to do anything. <laughs> hey, he placed it there. Am I going to be able to loot him without running through it? Nope, it's right there. <laughs> this fine gentleman is sleeping. He's also a ranger, so let's do this. Oh, we'll put that on him. Oh, I think we actually resisted it there. I think we just resisted it. All right, we have one more set. We know where it is. So we don't have Prowl. I don't know if that's still a thing or if that was changed. But uh, that's like just a stealth ability and we'll be able to avoid. Oh, hello there. We'll be able to avoid a lot of this. Oh, we've got combo points, and uh, I forgot to use them. Let's use our combo points on here. Do we miss? Oh, I see. Oh, boy, that is quite effective. <laughs> yes, it is. I actually keep confusing these two a little bit here. Also, do we retain our... We actually retain our combo points when we shapeshift, which is which is interesting. So he will run to us, which I prefer. He's not going to lay a trap down, but he's going to evade. I wonder how long these stay up. I wonder if these will eventually kind of tick away there. Oh, man. That does a lot of damage, that ability. All right. I want to test this out in troll form. There it is. I like that. 
Nice little speed boost. We're just going to run away. If I was a hunter, I'd place a freezing trap for him, or a frost trap would work as well. He's looking for a creative thumbnail if I can. We're going to pull this. But we have guards on our side. She's going to take care of that for me. The guards aren't completely overpowered. Oh, they're, they are low level. Good. It'd be nice if he turned around and looked at me. Good work, hero. You've done good for Senjin today. You've done good for all of Doritar. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Looks like we've just gotten honored. We are honored uh, with the Dark Spear Trolls. Very nice. Got another quest here. Let's check back in with Gadron. I didn't understand what he said. <laughs> Riding on. We got to pass the world on we got to pass the word on to Razor Hill. These humans may be defeated today, but tomorrow they'll come up again. And when they do, we'll need help from the orcs. Speak with Josh. <laughs> it might be Chash. Chash? Hash? I'm going to call him Josh. Uh, outside the gates of Senjin, we'll give you, he'll give you a ride to Razor Hill. His wolves know the path well. Okay. Well, on to Razor Hill. I didn't accept the quest. There we go. I'm surprised there are not more quests here. So I am curious. We don't know any flight locations except we can actually fly to Ogrimmar. Well, that's something that's changed. You can't do this in Classic. I kind of like that, though. That doesn't bother me. Like, little things like that, I don't mind. So this part is going to be new. Wait a minute, did I just miss something there? Yes, we can get a ride to Razor Hill. Uh, let's do that. Let's get a ride to Razor Hill. We could run up and explore. Going to be exploring the area anyway. Uh, is this... Where is... Oh, it must be a raptor. It's going to be a raptor, isn't it? I feel like it is. Nope. It's this guy. Oh, this is Raider, Josh. Look at this absolute beast. Look at him looking at me. I have, I didn't know this was a thing. Look at him following my character. That's interesting. That is interesting. I don't mean to annoy your dog, my friend. Can I catch a ride to Razor Hill, please? Oh. Here we go. Nice. Epic speed. This might be slightly better than epic speed. What's that smell? Oh, bad dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that kind of stuff it breaks my immersion a little bit. Uh you know, I'm, I'm sure that's for much younger players, but uh, <laughs> it is what it is. We'll have some quests to do back there. So this is one of the... Uh, is that ship there in Classic? I don't believe the sh No, the ship is not there. That is something uh, the result of the Cataclysm. There are ships in the water. All right. We have made it. All right. Thanks for the ride, bro. Need something. 
Whoa. That's an interesting headpiece. Is this she part of... Oh, this is the... Is this the Lunar Festival and Love is in the Air overlapping? It looks like it is. Your spirit burns with life, young druid. I, I accept the homage you pay and offer in return this token. I gave us a nice little... She gave us a nice little bow. We bowed back. What do we have here? Elder Moonstone. These are, I like these. You create a nice little ring of light. All right, well, let's pick up the flight path from Burak. And we'll check in. We'll also check into the inn. We'll change our hearthstone and we will call the episode, I believe. So, Hunter Trainer. Fotar, is that his name in classic? I'm, there is a Hunter Trainer here. Perhaps. Blood and thunder. That's a nice greeting. Writing on. That troll wants us to send help. Bah, he can forget it. I've got my own human problems to worry about. And even those are the least of my worries right now. Senjin Village is right next to Echo Isles in the Valley of Trials. Uh, Gadrin should find plenty of young bloods to help him with his human infestation. I kind of agree. I kind of agree. From bad to worse, Tiergard Keep lies to the southeast of here on Dortor's eastern shore. You probably passed it on your trip from Senjin Village. This castle has been a thorn in my side for too long. Humans from Kultiris lived in the castle for years, thwarting my every attempt to crush them. When the cataclysm hit us, the shore was wiped out along with the castle and all of the humans. However, these upstarts from Northwatch have moved in to take their place. He roars in aggravation. He would like us to kill six marines, six sharpshooters, and six Paltier. Oh, and Lieutenant Palatier. Sure. We do get a slightly upgraded chest piece. I'll go with honor. We'll do that. There are other quests for us to pick up. And we will pick up those next episode. Let's take a look. Let's take a look around. Looks like this place is pretty much the same as it is in Classic. That There are new quests here. Well, that is a new quest. At least a uh, different quest text. Anyway... Let's check in with the innkeep. This is Grosk. What can I help you with? Got a little echo in here. Let's make the inn our home. For the horde. Thank you very much. Has this place changed? I nope. I feel like this is the same. Actually, I don't know. I can't actually tell. This looks different. I think this has been upgraded a little bit. But I remember back in the day when I was playing this game originally. Uh, wherever I was, I would always try to obviously log out in an inn. I would always sleep in the bed. You jump up, you jump up on onto the bed, and you go to sleep. Always did this. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> she's covering her head from all the noise. Yeah. Anyway, I guess we are going to leave it here. We'll let Susie get some sleep. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope everyone's enjoying this. I'm having a good time with it. It is a little bit different, and I like that. It's kind of a different way to play the game. Look, some cutscenes, some ambience, some music. I also, this is new. We'll check this out next episode. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Take care. Susie and I will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>